Hello again everybody, sorry to bother you yet again but uh, just want to show you all quickly something to do with the age here. Now you might find sometimes that uh, you might have a little bit of toilet bowl effect with the age. Maybe it's just not flying right, it sort of hovers but it's going around a wee bit of a circle, it's not just holding steady. Uh, if, it, if this happens the best thing to do first <clears throat> is not a compass calibration but of course you need to do that also but is uh, an accelerometer calibration the accelerometer tells the craft how level it is so first of all get the your, your H probably your kitchen floor somewhere hard surface tiled remove all props uh, somewhere that you know is going to be very very level and hard so uh, I'll take this gimbal cover off so I know my kitchen floor here is really dead level I know it's nice and level because I put it in myself, <laughs> this tile floor. It's nice and hard, nothing's going to go nowhere. So basically you power on the controller and power on the power on the H. Basically wait for everything to initialize and uh, bit up and uh, we'll see if I can show you this here now. So like I say, any toilet bowl issues or anything like that, uh, an accelerometer calibration is going to probably be the first thing that you want to do. So I'm trying to keep this short, no longer than a few minutes this wee video. So we're connecting up here to the ST16 and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So we're nearly connected. There we're connected now. I heard the people come up here any second soon. There we go. It's come up. So I've seen how quick that was. So basically we're on a nice hard level floor, just let it sit there, be still, do its own thing, don't touch it, don't do it outside, make sure it's level, you don't want it sitting in a level on a hill or anything, nice and level, as flat as you can be, even if you have to use a spur or bubble level on the ground to make sure it's dead flat each way, use that to make sure it's really a good flat surface, the flatter the better uh, that the calibration will work. So you want to come to the ST16 and I know it's a bit dark here but uh, down here where you have your GPS calibration you want to tap GPS calibration you see here you can turn GPS on off compass accelerometer this is what you want to do you want to tap accelerometer and the H will do its own thing it will beep slow then I'll beep fast. The light flashes green. It'll shut down and power itself up and reboot itself. And you're good to go. And that's it. If for any reason the light on the rear goes solid white, it means the calibration has failed. I'm going to do that again. It's dead easy. Just into GPS calibration down to accelerometer there it went green shut itself down, restart it, rebooted itself and you're good to go that's it, like I say, if the light goes solid white, there is an issue with the accelerometer and it's probably probably best then that you contact Unique. But uh, that's it, that's accelerometer calibration done, no worries there. And uh, I would advise straight after you do your firmware update to the ST16 and the H, this is probably the first thing you should do before you even attempt to fly it. Obviously when you go out to the field, as well or wherever you're going do a compass calibration out in the open also before the first flight and while we have it on the ground nice and level here to you know everything's nice and level the accelerometer is done while you're while everything's opened up here and you're still on this page on the ST16 it's not going to focus for me the light in my kitchen's poor at this time of night we want to do a gimbal calibration just tap it It'll say it'll be triggered when you tap OK, hit OK, it'll take about two minutes, you'll see the picture moving, you'll see the gimbal, 
start to move about, tilt left and right, forward and back, up and down, and that's the gimbal recalibrating. Just let it do its own thing. That'll finish, the gimbal will reinitialize, and that's the gimbal calibration done. So you know now that your gimbal is going to be nice and level on the horizon. Your accelerometer is set, and you should have no issues. Uh, like I say, if you find the light goes white, or if you do go out to fly, and uh, you're still having a toilet bowl on issue, there's maybe another problem. But make sure that you do this on a flat, level bit of ground, somewhere that you know. There's no point going out and doing it on a hill, on a hill because if you calibrate it on a hill, it'll cal calibrate the accelerometer in the wrong position, and it'll think that that is level. If you understand me, so when it's in the air, if you tilt, it will it'll, it'll try to fly back or to the left or to the right, etc. So you want to make sure that you do this on nice, flat, level ground. And use a spirit level, even if you have one. Just if you're not too sure and you think the ground might be off a little bit, go somewhere else, somewhere nice and firm, that's nice and level. The, the, the more level the ground is, the better the calibration will work. So there you go guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.